वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज एन वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब दैट इज डब्ल्यू 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 समटाइम इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डब्ल्यू थ्री और जस्ट एन वेब सो वॉट इज दिस डब्ल्यू 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 इट इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिपोजिटरी लिंक टूगेदर फ्रॉम ऑल द डिफरेंट पॉइंट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड सो दैट वी कैन गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन से दैट इट हैज द थ्री डिफरेंट और द यूनिक कॉम्बिनेशन इट हैज थ्री unique combination that is the flexibility portability and user friendly and because of this three unique feature it distinguish it from all the other services provided by the internet and that's why www is most popular user can access this content of the sites from any part of the world over the internet using their laptops computer or their cell phones so you can say that in the simple word, word that is it is a information system that is enabling that enables the sharing we can share the information over the internet any kind of the information can be shared whether it is text audio video the you can say in simple words it is an information sharing over the internet you can uh, in the simple world uh, in the simple word what you can say that it has the client server architecture which sends the request and we get the response if you want to serve if you want to serve any of the information or you have to find out any information what you have to just do it like in the uh, you can type it in that particular request if you want to search like what is an world wide web in the browser you just have to type www or the world wide web the request would be sent it to the different servers this browser is going to send the request to the different browsers and you will get a particular response in this diagram you can easily understand it for example there is an client it is going to send the request we want to search or we want to find the information www so it is going to find on the different servers or different sites for example site a and site b the request will be sent it to different sites in the same way we will get the client we will or we will get the information for example web page a response in the same way web page b response so different responses we are getting from the different sites so you get the multiple number of information from the different sites all over the world whatever the information on the internet is available regarding the world wide web you will get all the responses in this client as you were serving or you were surfing the browser so it has a simple architecture that is an client server architecture now what you have to know more about this www is that you can access this information or you can also download this information or uh, whatever the documents or whatever the information or the text audio you want you can easily download it so you can say that the whatever the information is available on this www it can be text images or audio even it can be a video now one more important thing that you know, need to know this all the pages are all the documents that you are surfing or you want to check or on whatever the information is available or documents these are all it this all are interconnected this all are interconnected using a hyperlink so we can find out the multiple pages there now there are three main building blocks of this www first one is the url this is the uniform resource allocator it serves as a system for resources on the web you can say that web pages um, is given uh, an online address that is called as an url what uh, for example google you know the what is an uh, online address or the uh, what if you want to check the google you have to type www.google.com so this is the url for the google the next building block is http that is hypertext transfer protocol so it is used for communication between the browser and a server you can say the communication between the client and the server so uh, mainly it is used to access the data on the www uh, you have seen uh, for example how we find out for example http colon forward slash then you have to give the url of that particular address so in this way http is used in the uh, the third main component is the 
HTML, hypertext markup language. Now, this is very important because it is going to define out the structure, organization uh, of the particular page, how it is actually going to look or the content on the page, whatever, uh, how, what kind of content is going to be on that page. So, you can say that how it is going to work, there would be a page, you are going to define what will be the title or you are going to find out uh, where is going to be the image, where is going to be the content. So you can say it is an organization of that web page, how it is actually going to look. So in the simple way, you can say that World Wide Web, it is a kind of information sharing all over the world or over the internet, whatever the information you want, want to find out, you can find out using this. So uh, in this simple way, I have tried to explain you what is World Wide Web. I hope you like my video. If you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe.